As the number of cases goes down, a big announcement from UCF, the university becoming the latest to allow fans in the stands at home football games. But there's a catch. Mark Lehman joins us live from UCF this morning. Capacity will be limited to just 25% mark. Yeah, there will definitely be less bounce in the bounce house, but about 11,000 fans will still be allowed inside for the team's first home game. Re meanwhile, we're learning more about the uh, financial impact the pandemic is having on the athletics department and a new initiative to raise money. After months of uncertainty, Knight fans got the news they've been hoping for. UCF announcing that at least some of Knight Nation will be in the stands for the team's home opener. The university saying the stadium will be 25% full for that game and season ticket holders will have first dibs on single game tickets. The announcement coming after Orlando City welcomed back fans at 20% capacity for the team's return home last week. And with all the changes that come from the pandemic, UCF also says it's facing financial hardship. 10 to $14 million are expected to be lost because of less football home games and fewer fans. And another $2 million loss is projected from COVID-19 related expenses, something resulting in a new fundraising effort. We didn't come this far by asking, what can you do for us? Or what can we do for you? No, we've built this as a team. The Keep Charging On Fund debuted Monday with a goal of raising $2 million. UCF says they're making cuts by eliminating $1.6 million in administrative and sports budgets. They're also delaying construction projects of about $4.5 million and adopting a hiring freeze for unfilled positions. And UCF says they will be releasing more details later today about how to acquire uh, single game tickets for uh, the football season. Right now, that will be on a single game basis. Right now, there are four home games scheduled for uh, this football season, beginning with UCF taking on Tulsa on October 3rd. For now, reporting live at UCF, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.